Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to show you my new add-on I made, uh, which you all voted for in my community tab. So let's go ahead. Uh, we've just got this default scene here and we don't need anything else except for a new cube. Uh, so now if we go to edit preferences and we search for my name, we see this camera toolkit and it's enabled. That's great. Now we can press N and under this camera toolkit it will appear you can see this is a really big add-on i added a lot of features and the top part is basically just like the, the dust overlay but it has some more features so let's just look at the camera here and set it as our scene camera we can add an overlay just like the dust overlay add-on and it adds a plane exactly where the camera is um and in the in the previous version, if you just like change the lens and change the size, it wouldn't be where the new camera is. So you had to delete the overlay and add a new one. But now, uh, if we just change this again, you can just hit refresh and it will just refresh to the camera, which is really cool. Um, I'm really happy I got that to work. It might need some like cleaning up to do with the code, the refresh button, uh, but for now it works. So there's no problem with that. Now we can set the material because the material isn't here yet. Now we have the dust overlay add-on and if we go into our cycles render. It's uh, made for cycles by the way, so just so you know. It will still work in Eevee, uh, but it's just made for cycles. So you can see this dust overlay. Uh, this is a bit much, so you can change it the intensity to like 1 and it will kind of disappear. You can still see the smudges here and that's like the effect I was going for with this add-on. So yeah, that's really cool. The uh, overlay works. There were also some issues with... Um, let just go back to edit mode. Uh, there were some issues with if your uh, Y resolution was higher than your X resolution, it wouldn't work. Uh, but now it does. And also, if the both were the same size, it wouldn't work, but now it does as well. So you can use this with any camera and any focal length. Uh, the focal length is here. It works in any focal length. It's just uh, some math I did. And I'll show you later in this video how the math works for this. Because it was really, really cool. Anyways, let's go over to the new functions. We have a focus point, which is really great. It uh, just adds a focus point on the camera, uh, the origin of the camera, and then like the angle of the camera. So now if we press G and double Z, uh, it just moves forward. Uh, and you can add this uh, focus point and it automatically like that the fields focus to this one. So if we go back to cycles and go to the camera view, you can see nothing because the focus point is just like behind the camera. If we add autofocus to this, some really cool things will happen. If we select a target, which will be our cube, uh, it will autofocus to the cube. Uh, so the focus point will just like snap to the cube. And if we move the camera around, the focus point will move as well. So let's say autofocus. And why can't we see the cube right now? That's because we need to set our material. So yeah, uh, that's that's why it didn't work. But yeah, we have this focus point. And it's really hard to see right now. But if you just like add a cube and make this like a pillar. So now we have an, a focus point, which focuses on the cube. And we can change the depth of field settings here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit dramatic so we can see it. You can also just like add one right next to the cube. So I can show you how the autofocus works. This is right next to the cube. It's in focus now. But if I kind of like point my camera to the back of the cube, so I'll write it as here. We go back to render view. You can see this one is blurred as well. And the cube is blurred because this is now our focus point. So that's how the autofocus works. It's really hard to like show with only cubes, uh, but it works really well. See, now it's in um, in focus again. And this is really cool. The only thing that kind of sucks is that you have to have a target 
but I think most of you will have a target in mind as well. And otherwise you can just like disable the autofocus and um, just like grab this focus point and place it here. So yeah, uh, that's, that's really cool. You can delete the focus point right here and it will disappear. And we can delete the overlay as well. And there are no problems. Now there's no focus. So focus points. Um, you could have done this like by yourself in your blender. Uh, but having like an add-on for this makes it so much easier. So you don't have to like uh, add an empty object and create the depth of field for it. And get it in the right location. It just does it for you. Uh, so this add-on is really cool. But that's the video. Uh, if you want this, it's available on my comrade. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.